Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't already know me, my name is Yasmeen and I'm 17 years old. Today I'm going to be talking about something that has actually been requested a number of times and that is how to have self-confidence. So before I get this video started off, I just wanted to make sure that we're distinguishing between self-esteem and self-confidence. Although they come hand in hand, they are different. Self-esteem mostly refers to how you feel about yourself overall and it's all about the self-love that you have and the value that you put on yourself. While self-confidence is more about how you feel about your abilities and it can definitely vary in different situations. So for example, you could be a person who has healthy self-esteem, however, you have low self-confidence when it comes to public speaking. So like I said, they do come hand in hand, but they are different. So your self-confidence is really all about trusting your own judgment, your own abilities, your own um, decisions, regardless of whatever imperfections that you or others believe that you have. Something that I remember so clearly, when we were younger, when I was in like seventh grade and BBM was a thing, Ask FM was a thing, people used to always be like, send X for TBH. And whenever I would get a TBH, I remember I would always, always get told Oh, you have so much confidence or oh, I wish I had your confidence And I was always like, huh? I was always so confused because at that time I had such low self-esteem and I, I didn't understand like how, what do you, like what do you mean I have confidence? But that's when I learned to separate the two So if you're a person who doesn't really have high self-esteem it's okay because it doesn't mean you can't have self-confidence I mean of course it's important to build and work on both but today we're gonna be talking about one of them <laughs> Personally the reason that I think having self-confidence is a very very important quality in a person to have and it's something that I think every single person and it's something that I think everyone should continuously work and build on is because everyone needs self-confidence to make achievements in their life. Something that I noticed most people do, especially when you're younger, is disregarding compliments. Growing up, society makes you think that having confidence is a bad thing and that if you have confidence or if you love yourself, that makes you vain. But that's not true. There's nothing wrong with having confidence. And most of the time to avoid looking vain or that you love yourself too much, people end up disregarding compliments. But in turn, instead of benefiting you like you think it will, it just ends up making you look like you have low self-confidence. This is something that can be fixed. So if someone tells you, oh, you did a great job on your presentation, instead of saying, oh, no, it wasn't that good, um, anyone could have done it. Instead, you could say, oh, thank you so much, I worked really hard on that and I appreciate you recognizing my efforts or, or I just, I appreciate it, thank you. I noticed with myself a lot, like, when I realized that I would disregard compliments and I wanted to change that, I would end up saying both in the same sentence. So if someone was like, oh, you look really pretty, I'd be like, no, and then I'd stop. And I'd be like, actually, thank you, thank you, you know, I, I did my makeup today, <laughs> or something like that. Because it is, it is hard to kind of get used to, but I think it's a very important aspect in having self-confidence. So disregarding compliments more or less kind of is a negative approach, so instead you just need to be practicing how to have more of a positive approach and spread positive energy. People want to be around confident people because they have positive energy, it's because they value themselves and they trust their judgment and their abilities, but at the same time, they do acknowledge their failures and they acknowledge their mistakes, but because they have self-confidence, all they do is they continue to work on that, they continue to build that. So projecting a positive image helps build your self-confidence. And we all know and have heard the phrase, fake it till you make it when it comes to self-confidence, but it's not simply a matter of faking it. It's just more of practicing positive habits. Because when you practice positive habits and you project with confidence, people are more likely to respond well and to respond with positive energy. And all this positive feedback will help you believe, will help you believe in yourself. And that's the reason that spreading positive energy in turn slowly does help build your confidence. So like I said, it is not simply a matter of faking it, but the more you do act confident, the more you will become confident. When you're in this phase of trying to spread positive energy and trying to see the world a bit differently or trying to see yourself a bit differently, it's important to remember that 
life isn't a competition. Growing up, you think that life is a competition. And when you're a girl and boys start talking about how you look or how you're changing, you think you're competing with other girls. Or in school, you're competing with other students to get into the best universities. Or at work, you're competing with your colleagues because you want a promotion. And that's the thing about life. It tricks you into thinking that everything is a competition, but it's not. Instead, it's important for you to practice supporting others and encouraging others and working on yourselves and helping others build on themselves. And good karma is a thing. It will come back to you in the end. You, when you spread positive energy that positive energy will come back to you and that in turn first of all will give you inner peace but that will also help you build on your confidence when you stop taking things so personally and you realize you know what nothing's a competition this isn't really that big of a deal and you start to be and you start to have more of a positive approach looking at everything more positively it's gonna change your life Okay, so like I said earlier there are some habits that you can practice or get yourself into that help make you seem more confident or help build on your confidence. So I know this is so obvious, but the first one is projecting your voice. When you're projecting your voice, in a way you're kind of saying, you know what, I'm confident in what I say and I don't mind who hears it. It shows that you trust your judgment, you trust what you say, you trust your abilities, you just trust yourself you know <laughs> the second one is body language standing tall not not covering your hands like this not fidgeting with your fingers back in high school when I did model UN my head delegate would always tell me you speak loudly you stand properly everything that you're saying is right and you have a good argument however you always crack your fingers like you crack them the entire time you're speaking and that shows that you're nervous so although everything else about you shows that you're confident, that thing gives it away and that's something you should work on. And that's when I noticed that body language is very important in projecting confidence. And I know it's something you can't really control when you're nervous, you start to fidget, but it's not something that can't be worked on. So what I just explained doesn't only necessarily apply to Model UN, it also applies to everyday life, it applies to interview or when I want to apply for a job. Person A and B can both have amazing and outstanding qualifications and a great resume. However, both of them are asked in for a job interview. Why? It's not to talk more about yourself. They have all the information that they need. It's because they want to see how confident you are. The reason that recruiters care about confidence is because people who are confident inspire confidence in others. If you're a teacher, you inspire in your students. If you're a boss, you inspire it in your employees. If you're a friend, you inspire it in your friends. It's something that is very very looked up to and it is definitely one of the keys to success if you're a person who has low self-confidence it just means that you doubt your decisions a lot and you doubt your abilities what works best for me personally is to just have an attitude that makes me think if I'm in a situation where I'm questioning what I'm about to do or do I really want to do it or whatever I just have to stop and think you know what screw it What's the worst that could happen? If you see a cute guy and you want to ask him to the prom, screw it, ask him out. Who cares if it goes against societal norms? If you want to go sing on a stage and you don't have the best voice, screw it, go sing, have fun, do things that you love, make yourself happy. Oh my god, I talk about this all the time, but life is so short. You need to enrich your life with all the things that you love. You don't know what you love, go out and find them. Do things that you love, do things that make you happy because you're literally gonna close your eyes and open your eyes one day and you're gonna be like 60, 70, 80 years old or whatever old. Something that your heart is literally going to live for is looking back at memories of how your younger, wilder self used to do all the things that you love. You don't want to look back at your life and realize that you deprived yourself of so many great things that you could have done just because you had low self-confidence. You just need to have it. an attitude that just screams, screw it, who cares? Do what you want, do what you love. Live your best life. Just being in the mindset that just makes you think, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna do this, is not just about having self-confidence, but something that kind of carves and paves the path for you to be in that mindset where you just think, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna do this, is to not care what people think. So I'm not gonna get too into this because I have a whole other video already 
based on that. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. It's on my Instagram page. My Instagram is in the description box below, so you guys should check that out. But when you stop caring about what other people think, it just shows that you have trust in your judgment. You don't care what they think because you trust your decisions. And when you trust your decisions and you trust yourself and you trust your abilities, that means you're gonna have self-confidence. Self-confidence means that you won't get affected by what other people think of you or what other people say. Don't let anyone ever make you feel like you don't deserve what you want or your achievements or your goals or whatever, or whatever it is. Don't take what other people say too personally because what other people say about you is more of a reflection of, of themselves rather than of you. Just because someone is in your life that doesn't give them the qualification to to make your decisions. Don't compare yourself to others. Everyone lives a different life. Everyone makes their own decisions for a reason. Whatever they might advise you might not necessarily even apply to you. Just remember that everything in life is subjective. For example, if you woke up one day and you wanna wear your fur coat with snake skin boots or whatever, but you feel like you don't have the confidence to wear it in public because you're scared people might talk about you or might look at your point or laugh or whatever, you need to cut all of that out because Everything in life is subjective. Fashion is subjective. Whatever I wear because I might think is fashion might be the complete opposite of what someone else thinks is fashion and that's completely fine. Everyone has their own opinions. But if that person came up to me and told me that your outfit is hideous, I wouldn't let that affect me. I wouldn't let their words affect me because they have their own opinion and so do I and that's fine. You need to stop caring what other people think. It's not that personal, it's not that deep. It's a very, very big step to pushing negativity out of your life, making yourself happy, trusting yourself more, your abilities, your judgment, which will result in having built better on your self-confidence. The last thing that I think is one of the most important things in helping you build your self-confidence is achieving goals. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but it would be a period of time where I'm super motivated and I would set a huge goal in such a short amount of time that it wasn't realistic anymore and made it unattainable. And because I wouldn't be able to attain it in that small period of time that I gave myself, I would lose self-confidence. I would think to myself like, oh, I can't do this. I'm just not capable or whatever. But that's not true. If you are anything like that or if you are afraid to set a goal or if you're afraid to go after what or if you're afraid to go after something that you love or something that you want to do because you're unsure of your capabilities or you're scared to find out whether or not you have these abilities. My advice to you would be to take your huge goal and just split it up into smaller goals. The reason that splitting up your goals helps you build your self-confidence is because when it's smaller and it's more realistic and attainable and you do achieve this goal you look back at yourself and you realize you know what i had this goal i wasn't sure if i was capable of achieving it but i did achieve it so now i know i'm capable and now i'm not afraid to do the work and honestly guys this isn't just something that i read off of the internet like i saw this make a change in myself too like ever since i was a kid i was always like oh, i want to change the world i want to change how people think i want to have an impact on people but you know what you can't just set a goal like that and expect to achieve it but you know you break it down you start off in the house you start off with your community then you start on the internet then you become president. No, I'm just kidding. But really guys, it is important for you to follow through. People respect other people when they say they're gonna do something and then actually do it. But more importantly, you're gonna respect yourself more because you had a goal, you said you're gonna do something, you didn't know if you can do it, but now you did it. We all know the phrase, action speaks louder than words can. And that's true, your actions give your words meaning. When you follow through, when you work on something, it helps you achieve your goals, it helps strengthen your relationships, it helps you believe in yourself, and in turn, all of that will help build your confidence. It will make you proud of who you are. Most of the time, people just want to make other people happy, and they prioritize another person's mental health over theirs, or they just want to make their parents proud, or whatever it is. It's me, I'm people. I just came to a point in my life where I stopped and I realized, yes, I'm gonna do my best to make everyone else happy and yeah, I wanna make my parents proud, 
but that is just as important as making myself happy and feeling proud of my own self. I'm not living my life to please others. I'm here to make myself happy. Saying it out loud, it sounds selfish, but it's not. That's the problem is that I think it sounds selfish, but it's not selfish. Ignore what society tells you. There's nothing wrong with being confident and there's nothing wrong with putting yourself first and making yourself happy. And that's the first step to living more of a positive life, of having a positive image of the world, of spreading positivity, and all of that in turn, it will bring you confidence, it will bring you happiness, it will change your life, and no, it's not something easy that anyone can just have, but it's something that is achievable, it is attainable, you just take it one step at a time. If your goal is to have self-confidence, you know what, like I said, Break down your goals, take it day by day, and trust me guys, it will make the biggest difference. Okay guys, so that's the end of this video. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you got something out of it and that it inspires you and makes you want to be your better self and live your best life and be more confident and all of that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you guys found it helpful and you think it would help others too. And don't forget, if there's anything that you guys ever want me to talk about, just comment down below or let me know in my DMs, and I am more than happy to do it. Actually, before I close off this video, I just remembered to update you guys. My new posting schedule is every single Tuesday at 12 p.m., Montreal time, so I don't know what that is your time. That's that's what I'm posting. So so yeah, I'll see you guys next week